this. We're not responsible. Here we go. Tip them, start with you. What's the best gift Common ever gave you? He like, Tiffany, as you know, is for me, like, one of the best people I met in life. Like, one of the, the, the best hearted and most authentic and caring people. People that I met in. Like many celebrity relationships, Tiffany Haddish and Common called it quits just after one year of dating in 2021. Commenting on the relationship after the breakup, Tiffany said it was the best relationship she had ever had. But a recent revelation from Common about the relationship seems to be the opposite of what the comedian claimed. In this video, we will delve into Common's revelation about the relationship. Stay tuned as we unravel the details of their breakup. And speaking of your friends, so you're in a nice, healthy, wonderful best relationship, relationship I've been in right my now. Whole life. Tiffany Haddish once described her relationship with rapper Common as amazing. Little did she know that just a few months later, she would find herself healing a broken heart. Her public statements made it clear that this split deeply affected her, leaving her upset and disappointed. Reports suggest that it was mainly Common's decision to end their relationship, and this action caused Tiffany undeserved pain. But before we go deeper into the duo's relationship, let's take a look at their past relationships. Prior to her relationship with Common, Tiffany had been married to a man named William Stewart. While little is known about Haddish's ex-husband, their relationship seems to have been contentious. Just after three years of marriage, Tiffany filed for divorce accusing William of abusive behavior during their marriage. This accusation resulted in Stewart filing a defamation lawsuit against her. Eventually, they settled the lawsuit outside of court. Following this chapter, Tiffany maintained a relatively low-profile love life, occasionally engaging in short-lived relationships. But Common, on the other hand, has been involved in several relationships, including some with A-list celebrities like Serena Williams, Taraji P. Henson, and Erica Badu. In 2017, he entered a relationship with political activist Angela Rye, but still couldn't settle with her. On Rye's podcast, on one with Angela Rye, she revealed that they both wanted different things. We had been talking probably for two months about, let's see where things go, because I'm leaning towards I want kids, and he was leaning towards I don't know, she explained. After his breakup with Angela, Common opened up about seeking therapy to address his love addiction. This decision proved to be a significant success, as Common shared that he had unearthed profound truths about himself during these therapy sessions. This newfound self-awareness led him to a point where he was finally ready for a healthy relationship, one that might even lead to marriage. And it was during that period that he met Tiffany Haddish when they co-starred in the movie The Kitchen in 2019. However, their relationship was platonic at first. The following year, they matched on Bumble, went on a virtual date, and quarantined together before Haddish confirmed their relationship on Steve O's Wild Ride in August 2020. Our friendship was getting a little more than friendship, but not quite, because He was texting COVID you after 10. And <laughs> we were like quarantined. So then it was like, we're FaceTiming all the time, and then I'm like, well, you should check out Bumble, why don't from then on, their relationship progressed quickly as they decided to move in together and couldn't stop talking about each other during interviews. Tiffany created a stir on Instagram Live when she proudly introduced Common alongside Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade. Their interaction was undeniably endearing and many fans thought that their relationship was going to lead to something special. Speaking about the relationship, Tiffany was quoted as saying, I feel more confident in me and it's not him that's doing it. I'm just way happier. And it's like knowing I've got somebody that cares about me that really has my back. It seems like he does anyway. And I love it. I love him. However, just a few months into their relationship, people began to notice a significant shift in their behavior. They became notably less active on social media, started avoiding questions about their relationship, and even declined interviews altogether. In fact, when Tiffany celebrated her 41st birthday, she expressed her desire for something grand from Common. She said, I'm really hoping my man and I can take a hot air balloon trip and have a nice little meal. That's what I'd like to do every birthday. Try to do something I've never done before. I feel like it's an exciting way to live life. Wonderful 
woman, a queen, and just a beautiful person, man. I, you know, I just care for her a lot, enjoy her, and um, am grateful to have her in my life. So, unfortunately, none of these wishes came true, as all common gifted her were flowers. Now, that's not to say that flowers aren't a lovely gift, but it seemed somewhat tone deaf when Tiffany had clearly communicated her desires. Also, her wishes were not out of Common's reach, as it was clear that he could afford them. But that was not all, as Tiffany also wanted Common to propose with a piece of real estate. You know, they present you with a ring, I want him to present me with the deed to a duplex or a 36plex. Present me with an apartment building, the girl trip star said. And here was how Common responded to the request. Yes, she always said that she was all about getting that land. I love that. I mean, that's right. I respect that, you know. You've got to give a woman what she wants, the rapper said. However, this didn't sound like a man with immediate plans to propose, especially not with real estate. Not too long after that, sources close to Tiffany confirmed that Common had ended their relationship after a year of dating. Speaking about the breakup, Common said it was a mutual one during a candid interview with Jason Lee. We came to the understanding to break up and that this is what's going to be best for us. To still continue to love each other and to be there for each other is not to be in a romantic relationship because we won't be able to give to that. But we're talking about Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish sat down with the Washington Post and she was talking about her relationship with Common. She said it was healthy, it was funny, it was probably one of the funniest relationships she's been in, it was safe, and then all of a sudden, it just didn't work. And it's not because of her. She said the feeling wasn't mutual, that they were together, and then all of a sudden, Common hit her with a text and said it's the relationship's rent. Ran, ran. He also admitted that their busy schedules contributed to the factors that brought an end to their relationship. According to him, once pandemic restrictions were lifted, their communication took a hit because they both had to return to their busy work schedules. Once Tiffany and I got back on the move, it really didn't allow for us to spend as much time and put as much energy into our relationship. I don't think the love really dispersed. I think it was just like we weren't feeding the relationship, he said. Well, I think once Tiffany and I got back on the move, it, it really... Tiffany, on the other hand, had a completely different perspective on how the breakup unfolded, and it was far from mutual from her point of view. Although she expressed that, I'm fine with it, there are new opportunities, I do miss him from time to time, but that's normal in any intimate relationship. I'm okay with it, the comedian revealed. Tiffany strongly refuted Common's claim that the breakup was mutual, and even asserted that he ended things over the phone. She recounted, it was more him saying, I think this relationship has run its course. And I was like, okay, like you're going to be a 50 year old single man, okay. During the interview with Hollywood Unlocked, she stated that she was taken aback by Common's interview and comments. I was disappointed. I was very disappointed. I was like, oh, okay. That's not what you told me, but okay. But before the call, Tiffany explained that Common began showing her signs that their relationship was coming to an end by not inviting her to events, including a concert in New York. He failed to invite her to a birthday party for Barack Obama and even his own birthday, which eventually led to the breakup. She added, he might be the type of person that never really settles with somebody. Maybe he's like, you know, like a bee going from flower to flower to flower. I don't know. I wish him nothing but joy and happiness, you know. He will always be cool. She also noted that she had to find out from her publicist that the breakup was going to be made public in the month it was. But she wasn't hurt by the breakup itself. I told nobody. So this is my thing. Like, how does your business about your relationship get out if only two people know that it's over? I'm not, no, 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 no. More than two people in my camp knew that it was over. Okay. And I'm sure a bunch of people in his camp knew because I sure was calling them like, can y'all get my stuff out of this house? Can you send it to me? However, besides these reports, there have been rumors suggesting Tiffany tried to pressure Common into having a child with her, despite making it clear that he wasn't ready for one. She had even suggested fostering children, which he also declined. Some sources claim Tiffany's public statements about wanting him to propose were manipulative. Additionally, there are news that Common's decision to end their relationship was influenced by Tiffany's involvement in an illegal drama with Aerie Spears. Tiffany faced allegations related to inappropriate acts involving younger individuals, and Common was aware of these lawsuits before they became public. People's perception of Tiffany has changed since these allegations surfaced, and the same would have been the case for Common if he hadn't opted out of the relationship on time. 
Some felt Common made the right decision to leave the relationship before it impacted his reputation. Opinions vary as to whether Common was right to end things this way. Some believe Tiffany disregarded his boundaries, while others think Common made a wise career move. What's your take on the issue? Do you think Common made the right decision by breaking up with Tiffany Haddish? And do you think Tiffany Haddish is to blame for their breakup? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more information on the entertainment industry. See you soon.